Have you been doing that lately? <laughs> then this is the workout for you. Did you know that strength training actually relieves neck pain and shoulder pain? At least that's what a study found in arthritis care and research. So today I'm going to be walking you through those amazing exercises that help relieve neck pain and shoulder pain. But at the same time, there is another added benefit. Well, actually, there's two. One, these exercises also tone the arms and work on the low back muscles, those low under bra muscles that everyone says that they just love to work. But not only that, the weight that we're going to use for this workout also acts as a muscle active release technique. What does that mean? It means that with the weight that we're going to use, we're going to release the tension in your neck. I'm Alicia Jones from Alicia Jones Healthy Living, and for over 14 years, I've helped transform the health and lives of women over 50. And you know what? This area for tension is really, really common over 50, because with each decade of stress, taking care of the family, driving, typing on a computer, well, the tension tends to build up in the neck and shoulders and we need to release it. Not only does it build up in this area, but at the same time, other muscles that help pull the shoulders down, release the neck tension, they go underused because we're using these ones all the time. So all you have to do is start working those other muscles, like the low bra muscles, and that'll start to release the tension in your neck. Okay, are you ready? You need one set of light weights and one heavy weight I'm using a 12. As well, you'll need a chair. Let's get started. Okay, so you actually get to start sitting down. Isn't that wonderful? We're gonna start by actively releasing the tension in the neck and shoulders. You'll need to grab your heavier weight, just like this. If during this exercise you start to feel like this, the middle part, the barbell part, is actually pushing on you a little bit too hard, then just grab anything, a sweater, um, you can grab a towel, and you're gonna wrap that part around, just like this, so that it gives you some cushioning, just like this. I'm not gonna do that for this because I really want you to see what I'm doing and for us to do it together. Okay, so start by grabbing your weight and gently place it on the shoulder. We're gonna place it right beside the neck, where the neck and the shoulder meet, just like this. We're gonna maneuver it around, and then once you've found that place where you can feel the pressure, the actual muscle being gently pressed down, extend that arm out. Relax your shoulder down your back and pull the fingertips down towards the ground. We're not quite done yet. When you've found that space, right now you might already start to feel a stretch in your shoulders and neck, or you might even get something called trigger points where there's, where there's a little bit of pain or tenderness shooting up the neck or even down the arm. Make sure that it's a gentle pressure and then take a deep inhale. As you exhale, bring your ear to the opposite shoulder. Make sure your body doesn't come along. So you're still nice and tall from the top of your head all the way down. Your body hasn't come with you, but you're feeling that extra pressure, that stretch in the neck and the shoulders. You might even be feeling it down the arm, depending on how tight you are, or up towards the head. Continue to hold it here. Relax the shoulders down your back. Deep inhale. And exhale. One more time. Deep inhale. And exhale. So sometimes while doing this, I hear, well, I'm not really feeling anything. Then gently, very gently, Roll the weight down towards the shoulder, just a little bit. You don't want to hit any of the bones. You're just touching on the muscle until you find that place where you might feel more tension. Sometimes you need to rock the weight back or even forward in order to feel that place. I continue to hold it there just for a few seconds. Deep inhale. With every exhale, relax your shoulders down and then let's add on. Take your chin and reach it towards the shoulder. This 
makes the stretch more intense along the lateral side of the muscles. So if you're tighter in these muscles, you're gonna feel it more. For example, I feel this one a lot. It's going into my jaw a little bit and into my ear, gentle stretch, holding it here. And again, if you feel this pushing into you too much, you can always wrap the dumbbell so that the middle part there is protected. It's not directly on a muscle or on your, your bone. And then bring your chin back in the center. And let's do the other side. Grab the weight with both hands and we're going to gently switch sides. Roll your shoulders back and down and then gently place the weight. Again, we're looking for that barbell part, the mid part, the handle. You're gonna place it right on that, that where it connects with your neck, just like that. And then bring your ear to your shoulder. You can extend the other arm out. Always make sure that you have control of the weight. You wanna feel like you have control of the weight. And then once you're in position, ear to shoulder, shoulders rolled back and down, and your body's in center. So easy to wanna to go with the weight. So, so don't do that because then you'll start to think that you're not getting in a stretch when in reality it's because the whole body has come along for that stretch. Gently roll the weight down and up until you feel that place where that stretch is accentuated. You really want to feel a nice stretch. And again, if you're very tight, sometimes you'll feel a radiation going down your hand. You can feel it going down, maybe even up into the neck. I have some clients that are so tight that they can feel it behind their eyes when they're doing this too. For me, I do feel a little bit in my my finger. Well, I'm okay. <laughs> Dude is asking if I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> okay, from here, we're gonna bring the chin to the shoulder. So you're on a diagonal now and hold that. Sometimes it's more intense on one side than the other. If so, you might need to adjust the weight or hold on to it a little bit more and breathe into it. Deep inhale. Inhale again, and exhale. That's great. We're always starting with the shoulder release and the neck release, this tension in your shoulders and neck, so that these muscles can relax. And take a nap while we continue to work the shoulders and the low bra muscles that are, are should start to take over from the tension in the neck. So they're gonna start to work, we're gonna tone them, we're gonna tone the back of the arms. We're gonna give these muscles a break. And release back into center. Okay, so now you're gonna grab your light weights. I've got these twos. And we're going to start, same with the chair. Your chair has a back to it. You're going to straddle the chair. You're right on the edge of the chair and then bow forward. So when I'm in this position, you'll notice that from the top of my head, all the way to the tailbone on a straight line. That's exactly what you're looking for. And then holding onto your weights, just allow them to come out front. And we're going to do a fly. Exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades back. Relax your shoulders down your back. You're pulling your knuckles towards the back wall. Long neck, long neck. And make sure that you are really straight with your back. And then come forward with the weights again. Exhale, come up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. The knuckles pull back. If you feel this in your neck or shoulders, usually it's because your arms have come up too high. You wanna pull the knuckles back, long neck, and then come forward. Let's pick up the pace. Exhale up and inhale down. Exhale up and inhale down. We're gonna do 12 reps. I spoke about the study in arthritis care and research. This is the amount of reps that they found to best reduce that neck pain. So that's what we're doing here as well with the 12. Exhale, and again, up, exhale, long neck. Pull your shoulders back, and one more. Perfect, okay, excellent. And now we're on to the next. We're still gonna use the chair, still sitting down. I'm gonna turn it to this side now. We're using really light weight. 
and sit down, abs are tight, really tight, bow forward. The weights slide to the front of your shins, neck is long, and pull your elbows in towards the center of your spine, long neck, hold it here for three, two, one, and down. Let's do another one at the slower that we can go. Slide up, long neck, three, two, one. And the slower we can go, the more form stays. Let's pick up the pace. Exhale up and down. Exhale up and down. Long neck, abs are tight. So you're working the abs as well when you do this. That's it, we're still not going really fast because you wanna control form. You wanna stay injury free, reduce that neck tension. So it's all about just a good pace that you can keep up and keep control of the form. That's it. Exhale up and inhale down. We've got three more, two more, one more, and release. Okay, let's stand up with these light weights as well. And if the weights feel like you're still doing a little something, then for the first time, I don't want you to use weights at all for this exercise. This exercise is more of a te technique for mind to muscle connection. We're going to do shoulder shrugs, but we are going to release the tension in the neck and shoulders. Start by lifting up your shoulders towards your ears. And then we're going to pull them down as much as you possibly can. Lift up to three and power down. Lift up, two, three, and power down. That's it. If you, you do not want to get any tension in the shoulders and neck, so if you're starting to feel this in the shoulders and neck, do not use weight. We're going to keep the reps low for this one. One more, two, one, and down. Perfect. Let's do a quick ear to shoulder. That's it and then come down with the chin. Roll it over to the other side. Ear to shoulder, pull down. Fingertips down towards the ground. Excellent. We've got one more exercise. Lightweight with this one. We're gonna work those low bra muscles. And what's strange is those low bra muscles, they actually work when your arms go overhead. So again, you're gonna straddle your chair. And tall with the spine, bow forward. Straight line from the top of your head all the way to your tailbone. Take those light weights, or if you're brand new to exercise and light weights even feel heavy, you don't need to use any weight at all. Palms are gonna face down and create a letter Y. Pull your shoulders back and down, and then come down with the weights. Let's do this again. Deep inhale and exhale, letter Y. We're holding this one. Two, one, and back down again. One more time, exhale up. Two, one, and down. Now that you've got form, let's go a tiny bit faster. Exhale up, and inhale down. Your back stays straight. Every time you lift up, you're pulling your shoulders back and down. That's it. Working those underbra muscles. Perfect. We've got four more. Three, two more, one left, and release. Okay, let's release that neck one more time. We're gonna do that one more time. This time, while doing it, you're going to bring your hand behind your back. We're creating a chicken wing here over to the side and roll your shoulder back. Then, ear to shoulder. Stand tall with the spine, really tall, and feel that stretch. Some of the stretches you might feel a lot because it gets different areas of the neck and shoulders. Some you might not feel so much. So gravitate towards the ones you're really feeling that it's helping to release the tension. That's it, and ear to shoulder. Let's add on to this one. Look up, diagonal into the sky. Release. Let's do the other side now. Creating that chicken wing with your arm behind your back, ear to shoulder. Standing tall with the spine, 
Don't let your upper body come with the stretch. Perfect. Shoulder. And then let's take it down. Chin to shoulder. Feel the difference of stretch. I feel it back here. And look up towards the sky. Deep inhale. Exhale, relax the shoulders down your back. And release. Okay, you can do this once or do it up to three times. This is going to relieve the neck tension at the same time as you're toning your arms and your back. Okay, I'll see you next time. For more motivational fitness and nutrition tips to make 50 and beyond the healthiest and most vibrant years of your life, visit AliciaJonesHealthyLiving.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.